Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam and I am still doing my weekly videos even though I am so close to my due date, but you know what? I am going to keep doing them once a week as long as I can. So for this week's video, I wanted to share with you a salad recipe. This one is my broccoli cranberry salad, which is one of my favorites and I'm really surprised I haven't shared it already on this channel, but it's really easy, few ingredients and very, very quick and everyone seems to really love it. So if you guys love broccolis and you love salads, please hit that notification bell, subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So the first thing I do is I just cut up my broccoli into a little bit bite-sized pieces. I usually buy a big bag of broccoli from Costco and it lasts me a really long time. I put it in salad, stir fries, into, I don't know, mac and cheese. Honestly, so many different ways. I even steam it and then if it starts to go bad, that's when I kind of just throw it into the freezer. But I just find buying the big bag from Costco to be really cost-effective and broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables. I can just eat it raw dipped in hummus or ranch and that's why I always have a really big bag in the fridge. So just cutting those up with my hands and then I add in half a cup of red onions. You can obviously do less if you don't really like onions that much but I love it. I did a fourth a cup of dried cranberries and then I add in a fourth a cup of pepitas or pumpkin seeds. You can also use sunflower seeds which is really delicious or any other type of nuts that you want or seeds. And then for the dressing, super simple, it's just three fourth cup of light mayo, a fourth a cup of monk fruit sweetener or regular sugar and then a couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar and that's it i find this dressing to be really creamy really nice and then it just only really takes a few ingredients and on the side i also was cooking up some turkey bacon i like to use turkey bacon but you can use regular bacon if you eat bacon and i just like to kind of piece those and throw it into the salad. It adds a really good saltiness overall and it just pairs really, really well with this salad. There's also bacon bits, which I think is made out of, I don't know, veggies or something, but you could also use that and that would be great here. But that's really it. I just tried to use a tong to toss my salad. It didn't really work out. So instead I traded for a spoon and yeah, just mixed it all up and that's really it. It's such an easy, simple salad, but I find that it just goes with a lot of different things and I'm able to make a huge batch and it stays in the fridge for up to a week because nothing is really getting wilted, right? Broccoli stays pretty fresh and hearty and doesn't get soggy and then all the other ingredients are just fine. So I love this. I like to just serve it up on the side of any of my main dishes and I feel like it goes really well. So super delicious, really easy, and it's such a good way to get all of those greens because it's really just mainly broccoli, which I love. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, there you guys go. That is my very easy broccoli cranberry salad. I love it. Everyone that I serve it to seems to really like it too. I think it's just really easy and fast to make and you can make a huge batch of it and feed a lot of people. So that's what I love about it. So if you guys love this recipe or you love my other salad recipes, hit that notification bell. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.